Hello everybody, today I'm here with my 2011 or 2012 Project Source Pro Flush. I really don't have any toilets that actually use this 1.28 and this is one of them. So, the only original part that's in here right now is the original flush valve and flapper. The fill valve and handle is not original. The seat is not original. It's a it's a slow close Kohler seat from I think um, 2000 something. Um, 2008 because it came with my 2008 um, Kohler Cimarron. So yeah, this toilet has a fully glazed trapway, so it performs really easy. And when something gets stuck, it only takes a second, then it unclogs itself. So. Yeah, it's got that one big hole there. And let's give her a flush. Here we go. I got this after the hurricane. I have yet not to film it, but now I'm doing that. So now that so now that has a pretty powerful flush, and this is also aka STF Plumbing's favorite. So I'm gonna give it a handful of grass here. It'll for sure probably take this with ease because even if it gets stuck, it'll probably just go right through. This toilet can even probably take it. If I would get a new modern toilet and install it in my house, I would, e I would either get one of these or a um, Mansfield. I really like my Lowe's also added a Mansfield section, which I like. So, it's been sitting for a while, so. Mostly on this side it's dirty, but it's not that dirty actually. So, yeah, this thing has a really, this thing surprisingly has a good boring, so. You can't really see the date, it's by the fill valve there. But, yeah, let's see how it does. That did, that did really, really well. So, yeah, this thing, honestly, it honestly has a pretty good flush. But, but I do, I do still prefer, like, the brand, brand new ones. And I like the elongated ones more. I don't, I really, I really don't like the, um, I really don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, um, don't flush ones either. The don't flush ones, I say, are garbage. But, you could just easily put a tank on with a flapper and it'll work just as fine. I have that one big hole plugged. We're gonna see how it does. The tank's a little wobbly. It's not bolted. It's not bolted all the way tight, but it still, it surprisingly doesn't leak. So, yeah, this toilet is honestly. It is, it is comfort height too. I don't, no, this ain't comfort height. This is, um, that's cheer height. And I will probably end up bringing this to a home. That's why I have it out. This is my 2013 Madeira. It's honestly been a while since I've seen this toilet, but. Um, yeah, it's gonna, hopefully I'll be able to bring it home and flush it. Cause, so I'm a flushing on the water line. Oh. Hang on. All right, so this is really, really how I'll flush it is put it about at the very top of the overflow top will be right here. So let's see how it flushes. And honestly, cause I changed the flapper to make the um, 
flush be long but yeah it's still now that still has a pretty mediocre flush i'd rather it if the, i'd rather the water level be tall but i remember it actually putting this on a um regular two a regular um two inch flapper because this this is actually meant to use a three inch flapper and i think this honestly works better on a two inch flapper well they would work good on three inch but if the water level would be a lot t better then the flush will be better and not as short then they would probably be a little bit better than they're on the dumb 1.28 gallon which this show it's on but I think technically when I flush it, it's technically almost about using 1.6. Maybe 1.6, maybe a little less. So I'm gonna let the tank overfill and I'm gonna press and release the handle. And like you could go right here and then right after the trapway is like, everywhere in the trapway, this thing is glazed. So it's, it makes it go through. It's like my Toto, but just turn into a tank. Cause this thing is exactly like my Toto. It, only if it does it it goes in the hole but it'll pull it right through so the tank is overfilled so let's just press and release the handle so that technically used all the water in the tank so now that was so now that was technically about 1.6 gallons maybe maybe at least 1.6 gallons going into at least 1.6 gallons going into that toilet see it see on that on that flush it it works way the heck better than it's on a dumb short flush i might get some of this paper towel and plug the siphon jet and this thing's got double siphon jet channels too but it still has a pretty good bonus because usually when you see a toilet with a double siphon jet channel it usually wouldn't have a good bull wrench, but this one honestly does. I don't have a lot of stuff to do performance tests with, but the siphon jet's plugged. Tank's almost done. And yes, it does have a Sterling Wyndham handle on it, but that's the only handle I have laying around, so. Yeah, but so tank's full, here we go. Mostly whenever I release that this good. Yep. That's how easy this toilet is to siphon out. I'm gonna let the tank overfill the number. Kind of let it on the low bolt line like that. So, yeah. I may see how it does on a little grass test. Like, this is really the only stuff I have right now to flush it. It's just a bunch of grass. And I also really can't see how the bull rinse is. But I'm be I bet you the front bull rinse is good, but I don't know. But here we go. Hang on guys, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry guys, I had to go so yeah, that that did that did pretty well with the grass test on the low bull line. Yeah, this toilet's technically a pretty good performer. I'm I I'm gonna see if it could take all the grass I have laying around. Including also some of the paper towels. If it does get stuck, you'll probably take it on the second flush. But yeah, it won't surprise me if this if this will pass. But this also is a pretty big test, so let's see. No, I am not surprised there. But I'ma kinda I'ma kinda shove in the trapway. No, that's not gonna go anywhere. I'ma kinda pull some of it out. I'ma see if it could take it. I don't I don't want it to the whole thing just to be stuck in there, but 
I'm gonna let the um, I'm gonna just see. I'm gonna wait for the tank to fill up and then I'm gonna see how it does. I don't have any washcloths anywhere. I don't think. I do have this sock though. This sock is like a, well, the only cloth-wise thing, you know. It'll for sure take it easy. So it can't feel it from underneath, so it's draining, so. But where is it? If I can feel it. I guess I can still feel it in there. Let's see. Nope. I'm not surprised, but still, still that was, so I'm still kind of surprised that it clogged. I would have thought it would have um, did a little bit better. I'm gonna let the tank fill up though. But yeah, this Madura is from 2013. My other one I have is from 2021. So for 13. So this toilet is about, yeah, it's eight years old, older than the, um, it's eight years older than the, um, Madeira I have now. Well, I had to stop the video, so here's another one flush. So, yeah, this toilet is honestly. It's honestly really good for a modern day toilet, but I'm really, I'm really not a modern guy. I'm more, I'm more like a vintage plumbing kind of guy, but the flush is good. The performance is really good. The rating is really an A of this toilet, but it still doesn't beat anyone, any other toilet, but I, I still really like this, um, Kohler slow close seat. I, I got it from my Kohler Cimarron. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.